Hello viewer and welcome to the e-learning classroom. So today we want to look at this setup of the close wire to determine the focal length of the uh, convex lens. So we have the setup here. We have the cross wire together with the candle which is our source of light for this case. And then we have the, the lens and then we also have the white screen. So we'll be using this setup to determine the focal length of the lens using uh, the close wire. So uh, the first thing, the first thing we are going to start with the object distance. That is the distance between the candle and the lens being 18 centimeters. Then we go to 21 centimeters and then we'll also go to 24 centimeters. And for each, we'll be able to determine the image distance. So let's start with the object distance being 18. So we have the candle at zero, and then the object distance being 18, somewhere here. That is uh, 18 centimeters. Then uh, we look for the sharp image. Let's start from there as we search this sharp image. Let's see. Let's see whether we can find the sharp image. Let's adjust the position of this light tree. That point, so. The sharp image is appearing there. So that is the point where we have the sharp image. That is the sharp image there. When we go forward, it is distorted. When we come back, it is also distorted. That means the sharp image is appearing at 62. No, no, uh, not 62, sorry. It is appearing at, at 38.5 centimeters. Actually, it is 38. At 38 centimeters, that is the point where we have the sharp image. So, and what we do now, we record there, so we have 38 minus 18, that is uh, 20 centimeters, 20.0, 20.0, that is the point where we have the sharp image. We adjust the object distance to 21, so that means we now place the candle, the lens at 21, the 21 point is there. Then we look for the sharp image again. We look for the sharp image. The sharp image is appearing there. When you go forward, it is distorted. Around there. That is the sharp image. You can see the sharp image there. That is uh, 38.5. I hope you're able to see the image. 38.5. So we can say, so we can say there, uh, 38.5 minus 21, let's see. 38.5 uh, minus 21, that is 17.5. 
Then last three, let's go to 24. The length being at 24. 24 is there. Then we look for the sharp image again. So we adjust until we get a sharp image. So you can see the sharp image there, viewers. So I believe you are able to see that image there. That is 39.5. You can see the sharp image. So we have 39.5, 39.5, point five minus 24, this gives us 15.5, 15.5, that is the, uh, the image uh, distance. I hope you are able to see the image from the point. So viewers, we can now use these values to solve the to solve the value of the focal length. We can work with the values we have obtained. So let's start with the magnification V over U. So we have 20 divided by 18. That is 1.1 recurring. Uh, we have 1.1 recurring. 1.111, at least four significant figures. Then we have 17.5 divided by 21, 0 0.833. Three recurring, 15.5 divided by 24, that is 0 0.64, 0 0.6458, 0 0.6458. So from there we are trying to find the focal length using the equation. So what we do, because we have three values, we'll obtain uh, the value for each, and then from there what we do, We'll obtain the value for each and then we'll be able to find the average. So let's say for column 1, the first one, V is 20 divided by 1 plus 1.111. So this one, let's see what we have. So 20 divided by 2.111 recurring, that is 9.4. 74 centimeters for length 2 V is 17.5 divided by 1 plus 0 0.8333 so we have 17.5 divided by 1.8 three recurring that gives us 9.54 9.546 centimeters then for column three for column three will be 15.5 divided by 1 plus 0 0.6458 so 15.5 divided by 
1.6458 that is 9.418 centimeters. So the average now, the focal length now, which is now the average, will be 9.474 plus 9.546 plus 9.418 divided by 3. So let's see. 9.474 plus 9.546 plus 9.418 then divided by 3 that gives us 9.47 9.479 9 centimeters. So that is the focal length. The average value of the focal length for the lens we have used. So viewers, uh, that is how you do that experiment. That is how you do that experiment. The key thing to note is that when you are locating the sharp image, then you should look for the, for the outline to find the, the outline of the image to find where the image is very, very sharp. You should look for the outline of the image to find where the image is very, very sharp because that is, uh, when you are, we are talking of the image, we are talking of a very sharp image. So that marks the end of uh, today's session. Uh, I wish you all the best.